and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city. Birmingham. You're listening to Thursday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> Mm. 7.30. Oh, press news. Oh, I can't hurry. My set is as late as I dared. Oh, I've got to give a lesson before meeting your mum. And you've got work to you. Oh, come on. It's five more minutes. Oh. Oh. You're terrible. <laughs> I am, aren't I? Mm. <laughs> mm. Where are you meeting mum? Her place. And then on to Falpersham. Oh. Lots of frock buying opportunities there. And lunch opportunities. <laughs> Actually, the yard is not far from her house. Maybe we could travel together. I could drop you before I go. How would that work? When's Mrs Hall coming? Uh, 10.30. Well, you need to get the horse ready beforehand. You want to make a good impression. She's a big name in eventing. Mm, you don't have to tell me. You know, I just can't bear to be parted from you, that's oh, all. I feel the same. You know, you should come up to Carlisle with me when I go. Mm, that sounds really nice. Bring Martha too. Yeah, let me think about it. <sighs> well, anyway, it is lovely that you're making all this effort with Mum. Oh, it's not an effort. It's a pleasure. And I could say the same thing twice over about Eve. It's wonderful how welcoming she's been. Mm -hmm. So it's a full batch today, a 120 litre vanilla mix. Yeah, we know. So we need 80 litres of milk, Adam. Yep, I brought four churns over. Four? Yeah, four times 20, 80 litres. Yeah, but we usually... Oh, we should never mind. And it's all for catering customers. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Grey Gables, Lower Loxley, Underwoods, various other restaurants. So it all needs to go into five... Five litre Napoli containers. Yeah, you're very across it, obviously. Well, it's a standard job. We must have done it hundreds of times, haven't we, Susan? Oh, thousands, probably. Uh, you will still use the recipe as a checklist, though, won't you? Yeah, we always do. The only thing is, with a big batch like this, we usually put half the sugar in at the beginning. OK. Rather than waiting until all the milk's in. Makes the mixing easier. Well, I'll leave all that up to you. Ian says it's going down really well at Grey Cable. Oh, that's good to hear you. Right, I'll bring in the rest of the milk. Ah, oh, sorry, I'll just get this. No problem. Yeah, we'll start filling the pasteuriser. Hello, Adam Macy. Mm. Yes, Bridge Farm Dairy. Uh, yes, Ready? that's normally Helen Archer, um, but I'm standing in for oh. What? Oh, my Oh, sorry. But, but we've had an inspection very recently. We can't be due another one so soon, surely. Oh. Uh, do you mind holding for a moment, please? This sounds serious, sir. I think I'd better take it outside. All right. Yeah. Sorry, so sir. What are you telling me? He's filled it so far. I know, I know. I told you, we should have yeah. used five germs, not four, just because he's a big, strong man. Come on, let's try again. Susan? He didn't look very happy. What? Adam. Oh. Hello, Eve. Are you oh. ready to go? Oh, um, didn't you get my text? Uh, oh. I'm very sorry, Alice, but I, I, I can't make it today after all. Oh, uh, I'm afraid you've had a wasted journey. No, well, it's, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, oh, here it is. Sorry. I, I was taking a lesson, so it was on silent. Has something come up? Yes. Well, well, no, no um, it's just we, we've got people coming this evening, so I've got a lot to do. Oh, well, it can't be helped, I suppose. Um, 
I mean, I might be able to do tomorrow if I moved a few things around. Tomorrow is no good for me, I'm afraid. Uh, uh, Monday, then? I mean, it would have to be before Wednesday, wouldn't it, if you're going to get something for Valentine's night? No, I'm... I'm sorry, Alice, but uh, on reflection, it, it probably wasn't such a good idea after all, us meeting up. What do you mean? I, I think it's best if we just forget about the whole thing. Is something wrong? Have I offended you somehow? No, I, I can't talk anymore, I'm afraid. I've, I've got something on the stove. But e Eve! <sighs> so, that was the Council Food Safety Department. They want to visit tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep, a sort of snap inspection. But our last inspection was only a few months ago. Mm, yeah, they referred to that. They want to take another look. Oh. And they're demanding a whole range of paperwork. Data summaries, copies of records. But tomorrow? Sample signatures of all staff, personal health records. What? Can they do that? There's been new legislation, apparently. But it'll take ages to pull all that together. And, and we've got this big batch to make. Yes, the timing could be better, couldn't it? <laughs> Maybe we could... Well, I don't know. Come back for a few hours this evening, get it all done then. Well, looks like we ain't got much choice. <sighs> Can't mess around with the food safety people. Mmm, it's a shame. Obviously, normally I'd be able to do it myself, but I've got all these Valentine's ice cream ingredients to get. And the ginkgo biloba isn't going to buy itself. Oh, yes. Um, about that, Adam. No! What? Oh, Hilda, look! You spilt milk! She must have got him when Adam came through the door! Rabbit. Come oh, here, you... Oh, oh damn! No, not the password! Oh, get her off it, Carrie! Oh, no! She's on the worktop now! Hilda! <laughs> you couldn't keep away, could you? You're as bad as me. Harry. Where's Mum? In the car? No, she... Harry, um... Alice, what's wrong? It was horrible. What? I called her like we arranged, but she texted me. I didn't realise. Text you? To cancel. Oh. Well, that's disappointing, but no, I'm sure she... No, it wasn't just that. It was how she... How she was when I got there, I mean. I, I said, no problem, let's rearrange, and she just blanked me. She gave me some excuses, and then... Then she said she didn't want to meet up at all. Are you sure? Yes. She said we should forget the whole thing. But I, but I don't get it. Well, no, nor do I. It was like she was a different person. Well, perhaps... Well, I, I, I don't know. Maybe she's having a bad day or something. Well, it didn't look like that. It was like... It was like I'd done something awful. That, that can't be right. She was so nice on Tuesday. I know. I just don't understand. Uh, look, look. Obviously something's happened. I, I've no idea what. But as soon as I'm shot of this buyer, I'll get to the bottom of it, OK? We will put this right, Alice. I promise. Adam must have left the outside door open by mistake when he came back in after that phone call. Oh, he had a shock. Probably weren't thinking straight. Oh, wonder how Pat and Tony reacted. <sighs> Looks like we're about to find out. <sighs> How did it go? I just get togged up, Clary. Oh, no need. We're only doing the first rough clean. Oh, yes. Fair enough. What did Pat and Tony say? Well, as you can imagine, it wasn't the best news they've had all week. No. How's it looking? Not great. I'm really sorry. It were an accident, <gasps> Adam. I said we've disposed of the 20 litres you'd already put in, but well, Pat thought we ought to pour the rest away too. All of it? Well, the other churns were sitting in the passageway. Well, they've got lids on. Oh, yeah, but we don't know if Hilda walked over them oh. or... <laughs> Well, anything might have happened. Yeah, better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's what Pat said. Though it's a bad time to be chucking milk away with us only putting ten of the Montes through the parlour. Well, the others are dry enough, aren't they? Ahead of carving. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long are we looking at before we can resume production in here? This clean's going to take most of the day, I reckon. Mm, I'll have to ring round. Tell everyone that delivery is going to be delayed. <sighs> would have to be our most prestigious customers. Just typical, ain't it? Pat said she'll be across shortly to help out, which of course made me feel worse. But what about this food safety thing? Yeah, 
How on earth are we going to get all that paperwork sorted out? Oh. I, I was wondering about ringing Hussein. Hussein? A chap who sometimes covers for me in the post office. No, that won't be necessary, Susan. Well, there's no harm in asking. I don't mind. No, you see, actually, there is no snap inspection. That was, uh, well, it was just my little joke. Adam, what? You mean? You made it all up? Yeah, it was Chris calling me. He was part of the wind-up. Oh, the so oh. Now, before you start, it was my response to your supposed Valentine's ice cream job, which was just as much a fairy story, wasn't it? Well, yeah. It was meant to be a bit of fun. Well, likewise. <laughs> Pat and Tony were a bit taken aback. You told them? I felt I had to. But can we agree? No more wind-ups? No more wind-ups. Absolutely. Good. Oh, what about Hilda? Well... Is she in trouble? I'm afraid it was the last straw for Tony. Coming on the back of that wild goose chase yesterday. Last straw? Oh. He's had enough. He's going to rehome her. I did bring you. Well, I wanted to speak to you face to face. Did you tell Alice you didn't want to meet up? Yes, I did. At all? I... Yes, because... What I... on earth are you up to, Mother? Alice came straight over to me at the yard, absolutely in bits. Well, I'm sorry, Harry, but... Do you think it's funny? Uh... Playing games with the first woman who's made me happy in no, ages? I am not playing games. So what are you doing, then? Well, if you just calm down for a minute, Harry, I've, I'll tell you. All right. I'm listening. Celine popped in this morning. Celine Pocock. Mm -hmm. She was picking up some things for the hospice shop and she asked after you and I said you were seeing someone and I showed her the photo, the one I took at the restaurant. I remember. And she recognised Alice knew quite a bit about her, in fact, because Alice and her daughter were once bridesmaids together. So? Harry. Alice is an alcoholic. <laughs> I know. What? She told me. She's been very open about no, it. No, no, but you, you can't know the full picture. Celine told me some... Terrible thing. Then Celine should mind her own business. And she was concerned, Harry. Alice turned up drunk at a family funeral and made a disgraceful scene. Mum. One time she even threw a brick through a shop window. I, I know all this. It's all in the past. She's in recovery now. She's been sober for over two years. But how long is that going to last? I'm sorry. She could relapse at any time. You've got to end it with her, darling. <laughs> Absolutely not. That that sort of person, they'll 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 do you no good at <sighs> all. I mean it, Harry. For your own sake, you must never see her again. Then? Uh, kind of, yeah. Okay. And, and these, are, these are all part of the uh, paraphernalia of production? Uh, yeah, that's uh, the ball bar. That's this one? Yeah, that's... I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came. It's uh, due in two months. Uh, not much chance of that now. No. I mean, it would have been a stretch for them financially, mind, but... Oh, I just wish there was something practical I could do to help them, Caroline. I, mean, I think The Archers has had this immense popularity over the years, um, basically because it has always very accurately reflected the reality of life and living in a rural community. At whatever